What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to my guide to the best cheap high potential target man strikers in FIFA 16. So what I mean by this is strikers who are big, they're strong, they're great in the air. If you're after strikers who have a bit of pace and are fantastic with the ball at their feet, you want my guide to goal scorers which you can also find on my channel. So as always, they're just going to be my recommendations today, but for the full article head over to fifascoutingtips.com that will have every target man striker who has a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75 which just helps keep things cheap. So now let's have a look at my recommendations. Up first we have Sebastian Haller, he starts at 75 overall and has 83 potential, he's 21 years old and plays for FC Utrecht. His value is £4.5 million and you can't actually get him in the first transfer window, but if you inquire in January you'll get a price pack of £8.5 million, so you can buy him for around about £6.5 million. His wages are £25,000, he's on a 4 year contract and he's right footed with a 2 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves and he also has the strength speciality. So if you want a big strong striker who will demolish defences in the air then there are few better strikers than this guy. He starts with a massive 90 strength, 87 jumping and he's 6 foot 3 tall as well. That alone makes him more than a handful for most defences but he's also got 75 heading accuracy and 79 finishing so he's going to be scoring goals whether the ball is at his head or at his feet. He's also got a powerful shot and excellent pace which rounds out this superb target man. Up next we have Jerry Umbakogu. He starts at 73 overall and has 80 potential. He's 22 years old and plays for Carpi. His value is £3 million. An inquiry will get your price at £5 million so you can buy him for around about £4 million. His wages are £25,000. He's on a three year contract and he's right footed with a three star weak foot and three star skill moves and he also has the finesse shot trait. So I call him the legend because he is just so good. If you've been following my website for a while you'll know that I've recommended him year after year. Even just a quick glance at his stats reveals what a beast he is. He's got 87 acceleration, 91 sprint speed and 85 strength. Those stats combined will make him almost unstoppable and his 91 jumping and 70 heading accuracy will bag him plenty of goals from crosses and he's good with the ball on the deck as well thanks to his 78 finishing. He's a player that any team would be glad to have and with 80 potential he has got plenty of growth left in him. And then finally we have Yusuf Poulsen, he starts at 70 overall and has 80 potential, he's 21 years old and plays for RB Leipzig, his value is £1.6 million, an inquiry will get your price of £2.9 million, so you can buy him for just about £2.2 .2 million, his wages are £15,000 and he's on a 4 year contract, he's right footed with a 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves and he also has the flair trait. So he's a target man with a bit of a difference because while many big strikers have good finishing and good heading, few of them come with good dribbling and even fewer of them have 4 star skill moves. But that's exactly what you get with Paulson. He's also extremely fast, his 87 acceleration and 86 sprint speed will be too much for many defences. But he's physically strong too with 81 jumping, 74 strength and he's 6 foot 4 tall as well. So he's got the ability to be a force in the air as well. So now I'm going to show you how my recommendations did after 3 years of growth. There's going to be no player training, it's just going to be base growth. So remember that if you train these players they can do even better. So here is Sebastian Haller after 3 years of growth. He's now at 81 overall at 23 years old, close to his potential now. And just look at how good he is. His physical stats have become even more beastly than they were before. He's got 80 acceleration, 83 sprint speed and 95 strength. That is incredible. He's going to be able to outpace defenders, but he's going to be able to outmuscle them as well. His jumping has now increased to 90 and he's got 77 heading accuracy. As well as that, 87 finishing and 82 shot power. Going to be really hard to stop his shots and 87 six attack positioning as well so he's going to be in the right place at the right time to put the ball away into the back of the net he is going to be fantastic however you want to use him he is just an absolute beast then we have Jerry Umbakogu. After three years of growth, he's up to 78 overall at 25 years old. His physical stats are even better than Haller's. He's now a speedster. He's got 89 acceleration and 91 sprint speed, as well as 86 strength. Another player who is super fast, but really hard to knock off the ball. He's also got 92 jumping, so he's going to be amazing in the air. His finishing has gone up very, very nicely. It's now on to 81. His penalties are doing well. So his volley, his curve, his shot power, his dribbling is even doing pretty well. So he's not a bad player overall in all kinds of different ways but an absolute beast in terms of physical stats as well a really really good option if you can't quite afford hauler 
And then finally we have Yusuf Paulson after three years of growth. He's now at 78 overall at 23 years old. He's now almost a speed stay. He's got 89 acceleration and 88 sprint speed as well as 77 strength and 82 jumping. Six foot four as well. Remember he's going to be amazing in the air with that kind of jumping and 75 heading accuracy as well as very very good. 80 dribbling as well as his four star skill moves remember so he's going to be able to beat defenders with tricks if you need him to as well as 80 finishing and 77 shot power. A really really good attacker. Good in the air and with the ball on the ground. So that is it for my guide to the best cheap high potential target man strikers in FIFA 16. Make sure you check out the full article on FIFA scouting tips that won't just be these three recommendations, it'll be every target man in the game who has a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75 for all their prices, their wages, their weak foot ability, their skill moves, all that kind of stuff, it's all in there so you should be able to find a really good target man for your team. If you're looking for a goal scorer striker, someone who's got a bit more pace and good with the ball at their feet, make sure you check out my goal scorers video and the article on my website as well it's all up on there so make sure you check that out if you're interested in getting a good cheap high potential player for your team don't forget also that the scouting god contest this month is on the highest overall players in the youth academy they can be trained if you want them to it can be uh, any position as long as they are in the youth academy so if you found a really good player that matches that description you've only got a couple of days left because that ends at the end of the month but if you have found a good player make sure you take a picture when they are in the academy you can then send that picture to at fifa scouting on twitter using the hashtag scouting god or you can submit it on facebook.com slash fifa scouting tips or send it over to uh, fifa scouting tips.com or even leave a link to the image in the comments below like i said you've not got long left on that it ends at the end of the month so it's very very close to closing keep all your feedback coming in for any ideas that you've got that you want me to do on this channel or on fifa scouting tips.com love to hear all your ideas and start doing some new stuff if you want um i'm gonna start doing the good team to career mode uh, articles on my website as well and if there's anything that you want to do on my website anything that you want to contribute uh, I'm looking for new people to be doing stuff for the website and uh, anything like that any kind of collaborations as well so make sure you let me know and uh, I'll look into that keep all your feedback coming like I said make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching He's got 84 potential, remember, so he's only a couple of points off that and he's still pretty young. His physical stats are all just absolutely incredible, even better than they were before. He's now got 92 acceleration, 97 sprint speed and 87 strength. 